hello and welcome to a new video in this video I'm going to show you how to install the Mate desktop on a CentOS 7 machine so here I am remotely connected via SSH to my uh, CentOS 7 server that has no GUI as you have seen in a previous video so this is the server this is the virtual machine in virtual box so it doesn't have a GUI and I am connected to uh, this machine via the MOBA XTERM tool which is a great tool for remote uh, connections so in order to install the uh, MATE desktop we run the following commands first of all we install the uh, EPEL release and of course here the minus Y option is uh, to to accept all uh, prompts so to avoid being prompted uh, to say yes or no to install something so minus y means yes to everything so i need to type my password here to begin the installation and yum is of course the package manager So it's saying that this package is going to be installed epel release dot no arc and the installation is complete so let me clear my screen here the next command after installing the EPL release is to actually install the MATE uh, desktop so we need to do sudo yum and I have to do sudo because uh, I cannot uh, install uh, the MATE desktop with a regular uh, user I have to, to use my uh, super user uh, privileges to do the installation so I need to do group install minus y again and type mate desktop and I am using here double quotes because the name of the package that I am going to install has a space in it so that's why I need double quotes type enter and the installation is going to begin The installation is going to take some time depending on your uh, internet speed so what I'm going to do is pause the, uh, the video now and resume recording when the installation finishes as you can see uh, my installation is almost done so the, the installation has went through 671 packages and installed them uh, the process of installation is going to do some checks and tests now 
and as you can see the test is succeeded that's what I like about this tool mobile extern is that it uses colors and sometimes it's helpful to highlight the important things like IP addresses uh, um, things like that success or failure on off yes no so that's that's a good uh, a good a good feature of this of this tool now as you can see the installation has finished let me clear my screen here so this is my uh, virtual machine so what I need to do now is reboot in order to see the uh, newly installed desktop so I'm going to do reboot let me type my password and let's see what happens on the virtual machine here so it's restarting as you can see and if everything went well instead of getting a command prompt this time we should get a GUI so as you can see here after rebooting my uh, CentOS server I still don't get the don't get the GUI so uh, I'm going to run a, com a command to check whether uh, the GUI has been uh, updated auto automatically or not so the command we need to run is the following systemctl get default as you can see here I am getting multi-user.target instead I should be getting graphical.target so because this has not been updated automatically I'm going to update it manually by using the following command system ctl set default graphical dot target hit enter and it is telling me that uh, it it has failed to uh, set the default target and the interactive authentication is required I'm going to run uh, to try and run this as a super user so I'm going to do to do in the beginning I'm going to type my password and it seems like it has worked let me run get default now and it is graphical the target so I assume that now if I reboot I'm going to get the mate desktop let's see So the, the server is starting. So now, as you can see, after uh, rebooting, I get the Mate desktop. So I am able to uh, log in with this uh, user or any other user I want to. So the first thing I'm going to do now is uh, <coughs> change the display settings. 
so I should go to preferences display and change the resolution from here okay keep this configuration apply and close so now that's good that's a good resolution so <coughs> this is how uh, you can install a mate desktop GUI on a server CentOS server that has no GUI thank you for watching